Ugh. Whoa. Come on, though. Behave for me. Whoa, this is this is really tough to need. Like, this is just so sticky. I don't know if this will turn out into bread or what. Let me try again. Because this, this bread really needs to be good. It's important. Oh, <laughs> it's not working. Okay, let's see. If I add a little bit more flour to it. Okay, now that's too much flour. But I'll shake it off a little bit like that. I hear, wasn't, yeah, that was the doorbell. Come on in. Hi, Sherilyn. This Hi. is Sherilyn. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you? I'm doing really good, but how are you doing? Um, I guess I'm doing well. Yeah. I'm just like trying to do some bread here. Um, like, this morning I had like an awesome time with God. I was sitting in my chair in the living room and I just got inspired suddenly about serving. So I thought I would make some bread, but it's just kind of like not really working out for me. Oh, no. But do you want to hear how my, how, uh, do you want to hear about my me and God time? Of course I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I like this verse. This is a good verse. I'm going to read it again. Mark 10, verse 45. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Wow. Wow. I'm going to say it again. Jesus, you're just so awesome like you the king of kings the one who created the universe you came on this earth to serve me like little me wow and and you like you serve by teaching and doing miracles and things like that and you even died on the cross for everyone yeah for everyone all my life, I just want to say thank you for serving me, for serving everyone with just so much love. Amen. Wow, it is so amazing what Jesus has done I know, for us. eh? I was just such a awe during prayer time. Like, yeah. And do you know what I did after? What did you I practice our grow Bible verse. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Hey, did you do it the clown way? Uh, kind of. Hmm. Now I'm going to practice my grow Bible verse. I want to see if I remember it. Okay. Um, Ephesians 5, verse 1 and 2. Okay. Imitate God in everything you do because you are his dear children um then it's live a life filled with love following the example of christ oh that was not very fast hmm but you know what? I'm going to practice it today because I want to memorize that verse. Yeah, so after I said the Grow Bible verse, I just saw how the two went so well together. Like Ephesians 5, that says, imitate, imitate God, right? Mm -hmm. And then Mark 10, that Jesus serves people. So it just kind of made me think, I want to imitate Jesus by serving. Oh, that's so cool. I love it when that happens. When God's word speaks to us personally. Yeah, eh? Wow, this is just so good. Like Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says to imitate Jesus, right? 
And then Ma Mark 10 says that Jesus came to serve. So this means to imitate Jesus would be to serve him, right? Yeah. So I want to grow in serving people just like Jesus did. So Holy Spirit, I ask you today, please help me. Yeah, help me to do just that. To serve people with lots of love like Jesus did. Yeah. Hmm. What could I do? Yep, and that's when I got this cool idea. It just like suddenly just popped. It just popped in my hand. <laughs> and I thought, oh yeah, like I'm going to make some bread, some homemade bread. Like this is something new to do. Why not, right? Yeah, exactly. But you know what? Like the problem is I've never done bread before. Like silly me. Uh. And now look, just just look at the mess here, like... Wow, <sighs> yeah, this is a pretty big mess. Um, that makes me think of a Bible verse, uh, Galatians 6, verse 10. It says, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people. And so this looks like a really good opportunity for me to serve and to help. Should I help you clean this up? I like that idea. When you said that verse, I was going to say, yeah, why don't you help me? <laughs> sure, let's do that. And after we could make my, we could make some monster cookies. I have a really good recipe and I won't mess it up. That's a really great mm, idea. Okay. And instead of the bread, we could give the monster cookies to people as a gift. Yeah. Wow, and hey, I also have a new neighbor. We could bring them some cookies too. Sounds like a great plan. Woo! Hi kids, it's game time. That means fun time, right? So for this game, you get to be, play two people at a time and you need two garbage bags because it's a messy game. You can make a hole for the neck, holes for the arms, right? And you get to pick either pudding or jello. I use two flavors because I don't know, they'll get to choose. So, but it can be just one flavor if you want. So the goal is I will give these to two of our volunteers that kindly said yesterday, Pastor Claude and Pastor John, come on in. Woohoo! You, you can put this I on. I love pudding, pudding, pudding. <laughs> Okay, and then I will be giving them each a stick with a spoon. So that's all you need to do. You take a broomstick, whatever stick you find, a ruler, and you tape the spoon. They will serve each other by feeding each other some pudding. I think it's going to be lots of fun. They have one minute. We'll see how many bites they can take during that time. Are you ready? Chocolate comes your way. Woohoo! Oh. Maybe you can ask them which flavor they'd like. Mmm! <laughs> Wanna try the food? Yeah! No, try that one, yeah. Try the cube. I'm gonna try it with my eyes closed. Okay? Me? Yeah, I'm closing it. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, ho, ho! How are you? What do you want? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Wow! I'm gonna try with my eyes closed too. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, my turn. <laughs> Serve each other very nicely, pastors. Don't do the same at home, kids, okay? <laughs> oh, wow, guys. Pastor Claude and John were sure having fun serving one another, helping each other eat pudding. That's right, eating pudding? 
Wow, that's crazy. So my fun way of serving people is by baking for them. And I get to keep Semfer at home too. Wow, that's so cool, right? So what ways do you guys like to serve? I'm sure that Jesus, too, enjoyed many things about serving people, like telling people about Father God, like healing people and seeing them so happy, and they were jumping and shouting and praising God. Whoa, it must have been so much fun for Jesus to see people in awe of the miracles he did, like walking on water, multiplying food, and commanding a storm to stop. Whoa! But then there were other times that serving was so difficult for Jesus. Sometimes Jesus got bullied when he was serving. Sometimes he had to walk for many kilometers from town to town to serve people. And he would often serve from the morning until the evening. All of this made Jesus so tired physically, right? Oh, yeah. And this was not always fun, but it did not stop Jesus from serving. No way. Jesus loved serving because he loved helping people. And Jesus said yes to serving you and me, even by dying on the cross. It was very difficult and it was not fun at all. But still, Jesus did it with lots of love for us because he knew that this would give us the most beautiful gift, the forgiveness of our sins. Oh, yes. Jesus gave us the most beautiful gift ever. Do you see the pile of gifts behind me and the pile of gifts beside me? I just love receiving gifts, and I also love giving them to people, too. What about you, kids? Yeah, I'm sure you like receiving gifts, too, and I'm sure you enjoy giving them, too. But listen to this. When I imitate Jesus by serving, it's like I'm giving gifts to people. And gifts to people just makes them smile. It makes them happy. I want to be part of that. I want to serve people with love just like Jesus did. And guess what? As I'm serving people, I'm also serving God at the same time. So it's like I'm giving gifts to God. So that is just so special. And But maybe you're thinking, I'm just a young kid here. How can I serve? Um, well... I have to tell you, for the most part, serving for you guys will happen at home with your family. It's helping mom and dad. And like just like doing things they ask you to do, like maybe making your bed, setting the table, emptying the dishwasher. Could be picking up your toys, mowing the lawn, playing with a younger sibling. It could be many things, right? So these are all kinds of things you get to do to help to serve. We can agree that sometimes serving is lots of fun, and that's a bonus. But sometimes serving is not too much fun, and sometimes it's even a bit difficult, right? And sometimes it's not fun because we don't feel like it. But the thing is, fun or not, kids, who do we want to imitate? Yeah, we want to imitate Jesus by serving him with love, by serving people. So if it happens to you that you feel like grumbling, like a bear, you know that sound you make when you're not too happy to heal? You go kind of go like, Argh! you know, that kind of bear groaning. Well, when that happens to you, remember this. When you serve, you are making people very happy, just like giving them a gift right and so let's say you serve mom by setting the table it's like you're giving your mom a gift if you are helping dad by bringing the garbage outside it's like you're giving dad a gift 
Oh, and what about if you would make your brother's bed or your sister's bed? Oh, man, they would just be like, what? You did that for me? You're just so nice. You would just make them so happy. And so it would totally be like giving them a gift. And I just love the fact that as I'm giving people gifts with my serving, I'm actually giving gifts to God too at the same time. So, having a servant heart is just so special. I want us to pray right now. I invite you kids at home to close your eyes because who do we want to thank? We want to thank Jesus, right, for serving us. And let's ask Holy Spirit for his help. Are you ready? Let's do it. Jesus, we want to say the biggest thank you for serving us with so much love. Even when it was really hard, like dying on the cross for us to forgive our sins. But as you did that, you gave us the most beautiful gift ever. Oh, Holy Spirit, just please come and help me. Come and help the kids at home to just want to imitate Jesus by serving people. Just give us ideas this week to, to help to serve. Oh, man. Now you can have a look at the clowns. You'll see how they get to serve, how they get to help. And you'll get to say the Bible verse again with them. A clown way! Hi, kids. Bonjour. Hola. Konnichiwa. Kids, we're so excited to have you here with us. So today we wanted to talk to you about how you can serve mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. But because we're clowns, we decided to... We need to... Whoa! Cr crank, 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 crank this up, baby! Woo! That's right! Yeah! So, we are going to take things to another level. Another level. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to serve the... Ephesians 
five. There's one and two. two.